Vernon Basin and Joshua Smith. It's crunch time here in Topor. Hurricanes v Chiefs for the Jane Kahui Cup. It's all up for grabs now. Kia ora tato katoa. Bulavanaka malolele. Welcome in everyone to the first semi-final of the Super Rugby Under-20s tournament from Owen Delaney Park here in Topor. With me in the booth, Blue Centurion James Parsons. Kia ora James. Kia ora Isaac. Kia ora Itifano. No mai. Haru mai. Exciting battle we have on our hands here this afternoon. And a better angle to kick away the ball, but the sky's in field. Salabiao underneath it. And now Nalfahu fending away Mieni and still going. Nalfahu with men outside and finds Smith. And will he make it to the line? Nearly, yes. Grounded the ball. Andrew Smith scores the first try of the game for the Chiefs. Gets early reception and then he just pins his ears back. Straight through this gap, picking on a few tied forwards. Thought he wasn't going to give it, but he did. And then doing everything possible to potentially not make the line. Oh, was there a knock on just there? And this time, Tickle Penny successful with the conversion. So 7 0 to the Chiefs. Well, they've had clear dominance with possession and territory, have the Chiefs. Mosesi Basin trying to find a little gap in between the two defenders. O'Connor looks up and sees some space. Two big men in the locks trying to hold him up, but he gets to ground well. Good strength from Liam O'Connor. Advantage being played. Good hard carries meet stern defence. Big test here for the Chiefs. Nearly an intercept, but never mind. It's the captain under the post. He's already got two tries in the tournament. Make that three. It's a good hit from the Chiefs. The Hurricanes swinging inward. Jack O'Brien with a nice floating ball out to Solomon in space. Stanley Solomon backs himself on the outside and beats his man. Kicks over top. The ball's going to bounce awkwardly, but Foley does well to ground it. Stanley Solomon, the speed. I think there's a penalty. Salah Bayul tackling Solomon after the kick. Deemed cynical. This occasion, look at this. Now, Fahu is no slouch. That is rapid speed. Yellow card there against so late tackle. Waisaki Salabiao. Waisaki Salabiao. Right Salabiao. For the Chiefs. Means that the Chiefs will be down to 14 men for the next 10 minutes. It's a huge swinging moment in this game as Tui Four goes up and wins the line out. They go to the drive again. The Chiefs were successful in repelling them last time from them all. Can they do it again? Good defence. Ty Cribb coming out with an arm. They'll play an advantage. Just couldn't help himself and wanting to slap that ball down. Ty Cribb. Any more professional fouls like that and they could be down to 13. The Chiefs, they wouldn't want that. Forbes with the tackle. And a try's been awarded. And it's going to go to their tight forward, Joshua Smith from the pick and go. And he does it perfectly. You can just see the body height difference. He's underneath those Chiefs jerseys. He was always going to win that race. A two-man game played nicely between the winger and halfback, Mosesi Basin. First man up off the right. As usual, the big number eight, Manuel Smith. Out the back, Paongo. Paongo still going to Fuka Paongo on the inside. And his Wellington College partner, Stanley Solomon, scores another try for the Hurricanes. Brilliant work. Oh, bodies in motion at the line. A fantastic ball out the bat to Pongo. And then a little bit of individual brilliance with fantastic communication. Leads to the Hurricanes' third try. Ball right to the line. That little line there, potentially a little shepherd. But no committed defender. And as soon as Solomon gets free, you know there's no stopping him. Chiefs. A good scrum. Forbes off the back. Toy Vailala met hard by Jack O'Brien. Clean-outs coming in aggressively, and Vainuku, Vainuku to Nafahu, 
and another brilliant offload. See Salamayao win in the corner. The Chiefs are right back in it. When the back three unite, what an absolute stellar try. And Nuku dominating through a gap. Now Fahu having the presence of mind to free it up to Salabayu. And that is great reward, but also a great response. As now Fale has met in a good tackle with Salabayu. Stepping, still going. Looking to offload Sam Coles, wrapping him up, but he's five metres out. The Chiefs rumbling forward. Bakasiola, big carry. Three defenders pushing him back. The ref's in there. Caught underneath it, and he's into touch. But what work from the Chiefs. And it's getting rough on the sideline. These two teams have been going at it for all of the first half, and the aggression is starting to boil over. Dead it goes, so at half time, and what has been a tantalizing and entertaining battle between these two sides, the Hurricanes have a narrow lead, 19 to 14 in the semi-final over the Chiefs. The Chiefs stack to the left. This time, Forbes. And it's go right, they switch it back through Farron to now Meyer. Toy Vailala numbers, Vainuku in the corner. And the Chiefs make it level 19 all. Don't underestimate this last pass. He's under defensive pressure, gets it away, frees up Vainuku, who has been exceptional. He actually started this whole attacking piece down the left hand side, and he's rewarded with a five pointer. Scrum again, what a shove, the Hurricanes pushing them right off the ball, a tight head. What a shift we've seen in this game at scrum time, the Hurricanes now with possession, Motolu Pitaya, here they come. Sanelli onto the field and adding his impetus at scrum and on the field, Pongo stepping over the line. The Hurricanes take back the lead. Then some good strong carries and Ponga, who has been the link man all day, deserves a five-pointer of his own. And look at those feet. Leaving Salabayo in the dust with that footwork. Forbes getting up, slapping it down. Brooke Mitchell does well. He had Toy Loma right on top of him, but he snatches the ball away and Mathis picks it up and goes himself. There's an advantage being played. This could be crucial. A switch into the hands of Matheson. Mitchell again putting his hand up for a carry and rumbling forward. The Chiefs on the front foot. Smith waiting for it. Thinks about passing, decides to bury his head and go himself. New space, Barracliffe. Barracliffe brought down just short. Good tackle on him from 24, but a pick and go. Again, they're offside. It doesn't matter, they're over the line. Who else but Brooke Mitchell, who's made quite the impact and brings the Chiefs within two points. An absolute super sub, that's for sure. Brooke Mitchell, he has had some massive carries. More importantly, massive post-contact meters. Absolutely dominating that stat. And with a little assistance from Andrew Smith, the blindside flanker, they get full reward by a great heads-up play from... The reserve halfback. It's swinging back around. It's a brilliant kick. Fletcher Carpenter brings us level. This semi final. Calls from the sideline for offside. Eager penalty advantage. The Chiefs. This is massive. Meyer going wide. Carpenter gets away from his opposite. Still going, Carpenter into the 22. Brunger now staying on his feet. The Chiefs with a chance to win it. 81st minute, it's Forbes, McCarthy. Dylan Etty setting it in midfield. 
Out they come, Metherton. Hottie Metherton out wide. Brooke Mitchell just five metres out the Chiefs here in the semi final. It's their chance to win it. Out they come over the line. Just millimetres away here from their place in the final, the Chiefs. Can the Hurricanes get behind the line and defend? They're just short. Kupita, the big man, can they stop him? Fauma Kupita, just short. Forbes now, he wants to go at the line. Grady Forbes, short. Back for the penalty. Pick and go from McCarthy. They're going to keep it close. Kupita. Fauma Kupita driven backwards. The Hurricanes, they must be on exhaustion levels. They need to fight. They need to find just that little reserve of energy to defend here. They keep bundling forward. They're getting closer to the line here, the Chiefs. You can feel it. Brooke Mitchell. Brooke Mitchell! He's close. He's over. The Chiefs have won it. That is some comeback from the Chiefs. They came from absolutely nowhere. You see the ball down. Referees happy. No double movement. Try time. Into the final they go. Absolute heartbreak for the Hurricanes. Jubilation for the Chiefs. After 83 minutes, they are finally separated by just a single try. One pick and go too many for the Hurricanes, and they finally collapse under the huge pressure coming in from the Chiefs. After an epic clash, they've won the Jane Kahui Cup 33 to 26.